Good afternoon, it's Uncle Lai here. We are at a very special place today. I'm here to capo a bit uh, with the producers because the producers, they like to do very interesting stuff. Uh, I feel a bit left out, uh, so I thought I'd capo a bit. We are here at Lotus. Very, very interesting car that we have uh, this afternoon. I will quickly show you what we have here. Very fancy entrance. And this is the car that we'll be looking at today. Of course, our producers are busy at work. They are not just stuck in the office, uh, playing sim racing all the time. When you come to Lotus, you need to have Lotus Biscuit. So, while the producers are working on their stuff, let's take a quick look at the car. This car looks very close to the model we created in the simulator. It is a manual car with a stick shifter. You don't normally see that in cars nowadays. It also has the 400 horsepower Toyota V6 engine, which has also been recreated in the simulator. Now I'm going to compare this real life car to the one that we see in the simulator, which you will see as well. It is actually surprisingly quite accurate. Okay, so we definitely need to take a quick look at the interior. So let us just get into the car. Oh, look at that. The first place to start is of course in the driver's seat because this is also what you're gonna see when you're driving in the sim. First thing to note will be the steering wheel and the dashboard. Comparing this to the sim, you can see how well the wheel has been recreated from the shape of the wheel to the individual buttons and not to forget the Amira badge at the bottom. And just to the side, you have your infotainment system. Both have the Amira branding on the startup screen. Looking forward to seeing how the custom shaders patch in Assetto Corsa will integrate functionality into the system in the game. Just below, we have the shifter, which looks and feels very solid. This is my favourite, the jet-inspired start-stop engine button, which of course exists in the sim as well. Even the buttons at the top have been recreated in the sim. And now coming over to the back, we have of course, the V6 engine. Also very accurately represented in the sim. The design of the rear lights is also a very unique design. Here at the side, you'll find your side tunnels, which just like most of the car, has been inspired by the Evaya, Lotus's 2000 horsepower electric hypercar. So as you can see, sim racing has already gone beyond just simulating the physics, the feel, the driving of the car. But models have also been working so hard to recreate cars like this. To faithfully recreate the looks of this car, the sound of the cars in the simulator. So uh, with that, I think I will now drive home in this car. Lah, huh? So I will see you guys next time. This is my car now. Goodbye. Oh, I didn't turn the engine. Whoops.